If you like this video, why not subscribe? Hey everybody, welcome to yet another episode of The Frugal Filmmaker, the place where no budget is no problem. You know, something I've always wanted is a camera dolly. Nothing quite duplicates the smooth gliding sensation of a camera on wheels. But I've always had a hard time building one, not just because they're kind of expensive, but because they're so big and unwieldy, and I, don't, I can't fit it in the back of my Civic. So I wanted a smaller, more compact version. So I came up with a PVC table dolly. This dolly will give you all kinds of shots, work on any smooth surface, and will break down to fit in your camera or light stand bag. And it costs just under a Benjamin. Here's what you can do with it. And this is the dolly that created all the shots you just saw. This is our PVC table dolly. It can do any lateral motion. And with a quick adjustment, it'll do any circular tracking motion. Your camera goes right here on this quick plate. And you can adjust it right or left, or up and down. Now note that this is a static dolly. You're not going to be able to move your camera on the fly. Um, and it's probably only good for camcorders and really small cameras because if you put a DSLR or a prosumer camera on this, it's probably not going to hold it very well. So don't do that. Now here's your basic parts list for this project. You have a cheap 50-inch uh, tripod. You have two 3-inch, three 3-quarter-inch three PVC pipes. You have seven inch and a half, 3-quarter-inch uh, PVC pipes we're going to be using as inserts. You have three 3-quarter-inch three T-joints. You have two 3-quarter-inch elbows. You have a three-quarter inch coupler right here. You have a half inch to three-quarter inch adapter. You have a inch and a half of half inch PVC pipe. You have another coupler. You have a three-quarter inch plug. You have a roller blade wheel. You have a two inch a quarter inch bolt and two quarter inch nuts. Now this is the basic wheel assembly. Remember you're going to be making four of these because you have obviously four wheels. Now here's the tools you're going to be needing for this project. You have a drill of some kind. You have some PVC ratcheting cutters. Far better to cut PVC than any hacksaw. You've got two pairs of pliers. You've got a measuring device. A ruler will also work. And you've also got a bladed screwdriver. I'm actually going to be using the bladed screwdriver in the multi-tool because it's so short. But if you don't have one of these, try and get a short bladed screwdriver. This is long, obviously. Now you're going to want a versatile way of attaching your camera to your table dolly. And you do that with these pretty cheap uh, tripod heads and they come connected to these really cheap tripod legs uh, that really aren't good for much but these heads are very good because you can fit them on some half inch PVC pipe which is what I noticed one day when I was looking at these. Now you can get these tripods uh, pretty much anywhere. They're all basically the same. They've just been rebranded. This is a Targus version. It comes uh, sold at Radio Shack. I got mine for eight dollars uh, on sale. Normally they sell for sixteen. I've seen them at Big Lots for $10. On eBay, if you type in 50-inch tripod, you'll get a slew of these. The cheapest ones are about 12 bucks with shipping. Not too bad of a deal considering what you're going to get out of this. Um, but once you get one, if you just undo this screw right here, which comes right off, I promise, the uh, head will easily release, and uh, you've got an important part of your rig right there. Okay, so now you've got your newly acquired tripod head. Notice mine is magically transformed into a rectangle from an oval stage. Uh, and you're going to loosen all these uh, connections here so it's more, a little more flexible and then open it up so you have access to this piece right here, which is where you're going to be inserting your half-inch PVC pipe. Um, but if you notice, this is not quite a half-inch in diameter. You can't just shove it in there. Um, you're going to need to help it a little bit. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our short bladed screwdriver which I'm using from the multi-tool here, and insert it into that opening like so. And you're going to want to turn it so it opens even more. If I can get it to work. 
promise it opens even more. Opens even more. There we go. Um, I'm giving you a larger opening. Now you're going to want to take this piece here and grind this edge down. I don't mean on a grinder. I mean just take it to the sidewalk and turn it into the sidewalk and grind it down so that the edge is tapered. It'll make it easier to shove in when you get to this point. Like so. And then the thing just latches onto it. Friction will hold it in. And you can just push it with your thumb in a little bit so that the uh, top of the half inch PVC just sticks up over the top like this. Um, then you're going to want to take your, your coupler, or not your coupler, excuse me, your adapter, uh, your half inch to three quarter inch adapter, shove it on the end like that, and then right into your coupler like so. Now this is a really loose fit. Most of this is held together by friction, but I'd recommend gluing this portion right here. And that's how you're going to attach it to your rig. Okay, next up is the wheel assembly, and I got these wheels off of a pair of roller blades I found in a thrift store for $5. I uh, took them off of one of the roller blades, which gave me four wheels, and uh, that's how I got my dolly to roll. So you're going to take your wheel, and you're going to want to insert the uh, quarter-inch bolt like that. Then take your plug uh, and drill a hole in it. Now, notice my hole is off. Uh, but that's okay. If you're anal retentive and you have to have it in the center, you'll try again or keep doing it. The centered holes are great. Mine was a little off, but that was all right. It's still going to work. It'll just make it things more adjustable. Uh, take the nut, one of the nuts, and attach it on the other end of the bolt. You can just tighten this by hand. It doesn't need to be super tight. Like that. Insert it in the plug. And then take the other nut and connect it to the other end of the uh, bolt like that. Then take your pliers, preferably uh, some kind of needle nose, or you can also use a ratchet head for this kind of thing, and tighten the whole thing down. And when you're done, Simply insert this into a coupler and your wheel assembly is finished. Now make three more of these. Now to put your wheels together we're going to take one of your T-joints and put in some inserts into each hole so it's going to look something like that. Then just simply add the wheels on both ends. And presto, make another one of these. Now the final component is going to be the main hub, which will connect everything together. And we build this around a T-joint. Place an insert in the top, like that, and then the two three-inch pieces on the sides, like that. Then add the elbows on both ends, like so, and you're done. And here's the basic parts of your table dolly broken down for storage and or transport. And assembling the thing from here is pretty easy. Here's how you do it. Voila. You might be asking yourself, uh, why build this on a three-quarter inch base? Why use this three-quarter inch coupling? Can't you just build the whole thing out of half inch? Well, of course you can, but if you use this three-quarter inch base, it will now be compatible with our PVC light stand that we built a few episodes back. Just snap your uh, tripod head right on like this, and now you've got a low-angle camera stand uh, you can use instead of a sandbag. And that, my friends, is the PVC table dolly. If you like this tip, please come to thefrugalfilmmaker.com for more or find us on Instructables Facebook and Twitter. Adios!